Am I live? <laughs> cool. Hi guys, welcome. This is Butt Stuff Bar. We're gonna get started in just a minute. I have a Ghana here today behind the camera. Um, he's playing Nintendo. <laughs> he's playing Nintendo on his back. He has, let me set the scene. He has his blocks underneath his elbows and one block underneath his head. And he's playing Nintendo um, while he pushes a button. <laughs> Okay guys, today's class, it's great. We're gonna get in there, we're not leaving our mat. It's all butt stuff all day. You guys need a squishy ball. Um, and if you guys do not have a squishy ball, grab a roll of paper towels. We're gonna have this ball behind our knee. So guys, you don't need to use it at all. You could use nothing and you could just bend your knee and like squeeze your hammy. Um, or grab like a soft yet firm pillow or a roll of paper towels, any of that will do just fine. And you guys also need a mat. And let me know how you feel if you're there um, because today's a doozy. Also guys, this is the Haverford Studio. Welcome. We are, I'm doing a balloon arch for tomorrow. <laughs> We're opening for phase two classes uh, at the studios. No Lips is opening the 22nd, but the other studios are opening tomorrow. And so I was like, yeah, we're gonna get a balloon arch. So there's so many balloons out there. We won't talk about that right now. Okay guys, I'm gonna give people one more minute to hop on and then we're gonna get started. So grab your roll of paper towels, grab your butts, grab your mats, and we're gonna get started here soon. Um, how are you guys doing? It's Friday. Yes, yes. Oh guys, also this shirt, I just got this shirt like a year ago. And then I accidentally put bleach in the washing machine. Now there's spots on it, but I feel like it adds to it. It adds a little flavor. Um, and so I'm gonna, I'm gonna embrace these little bleach spots on my shirt. You guys are, probably can't even see them. Anyway, okay, the monologue part's almost over. Let's get people, let me know if you're here. Oh guys, also, we're gonna raffle off three classes at Tuck um, today at the end of class. So, that's worth $75 because classes are expensive nowadays. There's limited space. Um, maybe I'll give you guys a tour of the studio afterwards. Um, there's a lot of plants over here. You'll see, it's like the window wall of plants. Um, and then we have like a little love wall and then we have the dog pictures. There's a lot to see. Oh, also there's these cutie plants behind. Hagami got really mad that we had to hang that plant. He was really not into it. Um, okay guys. 20 seconds. Hagana, can you let me know how many people are here or if people are even watching? I'm not here by myself. That's okay. Uh, there's some activity. There's some activity. Okay, guys. So for the classes, to win the giveaway, the raffle, I'll pick one person at the end of class, but I'm going to make you comment something. I haven't thought about what that secret word's going to be, um, and then I'll just pick one of you at random. It's literally, guys, whoever's name I see before I shut down the line because the comments go away. If you guys know how to see those after the fact, let me know. I Googled it, I couldn't find them. Um, okay guys, what do we feel like doing? We're gonna do pretzel today. And no, not eat pretzels. I wish we were eating pretzels. We're gonna do pretzel. We're gonna do some weird oblique. We're gonna take off our socks. We're gonna do some weird oblique side butt things. They're juicy. They're very good. Um, okay, is it ready? Are we, are we set? Pagana, are we ready? Okay guys, for those of you just joining, grab your ball, your roll of paper towels, your firm yet soft pillow, whatever you have, and grab your mat. Before I turn up the sick beat, the music's going to be kind of quiet today because I'm in the studio and I don't want to turn it up so loud. I'll turn it up a little, but before we start, let's just warm up through our hips. So I want you guys to take your feet out in front of you and just start to lean back here as you tone your belly and take those feet out just a few steps wide and start to drop one knee at a time, like a little windshield wiper. Just drop, you guys are like, they make those automatic now. You don't have to like turn them on. I know, but just imagine you're in like an old car that doesn't have automatic windshield wipers. There's no rain sensors and you're just manually pushing those windshield wipers up and down. I don't think there are any cars that make you do Push your windshield wipers down and up. But do you get what I'm saying, guys? Just start to warm up through that outer hip, through your seat. Just get a little juice in there. That's it, guys. Take just a few more. We're gonna hold it. 
Take just one more. Okay, guys, go ahead, drop that left knee down. Just hold it here and start to squeeze your butt on that left side. So just give it a little squeeze as you drop that knee and feel that little bitty stretch to the front of your hip. And now let's do another side. Drop right knee down, squeeze your right butt. Yeah, give it a little squishy, a little squeezy. I'm gonna turn up the sick beat. All right, guys, bring it back to center. Turn it up. Guys, grab your ball. That's enough warm up, whatever, we're fine. You're gonna take that left knee and bring it right in front of your left hip. So just, you can take a sharp angle with your knee here. You don't have to be, you can be here, you don't have to be out. But I want that left knee lined up with your hip. Grab your ball, place it behind your right knee. Oh shit, guys. Okay, now guys, I know it's a lap setup. Let's just do it. I want you to grab onto that right butt cheek and take a glance down at your right knee. I want your right knee in line with your right hip or maybe slightly behind if your flexibility allows for it. That's it, guys. Tend your fingers, your left finger, your right hand's on your butt, and now just roll that hip forward to feel your right butt squeeze. Soften those shoulders, and then release it. It kind of looks like you're humping the floor. Roll that right hip forward, so both hip points face forward and they're level. Now release it. You feel that squeeze, that like hardness in your butt. Feel the hardness in your butt, and embrace it. Say, oh, hey, what's up? Hey, hey, what's up, hello? Squeeze that butt forward and then release it. Now guys, when we work in pretzel, this is what you have to maintain. So each time you lift that leg, you are actively pressing that right hip forward. You're gonna feel a little stretchy on your right inner thigh too. That's it guys, two more, we're gonna hold it. Yes, one more. Now this time, hold it. Maintain that squeeze. Guys, I like to hang onto my butt this whole time. Soften those shoulders, tone your belly. Now guys, keeping that right hip pressed forward, don't let it roll back. Point through those right toes and lift the right thigh up. Yes, drop it down. It's gonna feel like a Charlie horse. Press it up and drop it down. So guys, you can lean over to the left side if that feels better for you. If your leg feels like, you're like, no, I'm not lifting my leg up. It just doesn't lift, Callie. Come down onto your left forearm here. So then it's gonna be a lot easier, it's still not easy, but it'll be a little, it'll feel a little lighter. But keep pressing that right hip forward like you're rolling. You lift it and you lower it. It is hella slow here, guys. You press the lift, roll that hip forward, drop it nice and slow. Two more here, slow. Guys, we're getting in there today. This is like a terrible butt stuff class. Now guys, let's take that faster. Take it up and drop. Take it up and drop, guys. Soften those shoulders. If you feel hella good here, you can get light on those fingers. You can bring your hands up. Woo! Lift, lift. Keep rolling that hip forward, guys. It is quality, not quantity. So I want you really pressing that hip. Hang on to that butt. Do you feel it getting hard? Mine gets hard right there on the top. It's like where your muffin top is. None of you have muffin tops, but you know what I mean? That like area, press it up. Press it up. We're gonna hold it up. Your right toe is pointed. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna pulse here in four. Woo, guys, reminder, you can come down. If you feel that hip rolling open, come down and press that hip forward. In three, we're holding up. Soften shoulders, two. Last one, now hold it up here, guys. Go press, press, press. Just try to lift and hold. Woo, it's burning. Oh, guys, so the other night, I watched a documentary. It was an emotional roller coaster. It's called My Octopus Friend. Have you guys seen this? It's about an octopus and a diver and their love story. Oh my God, guys, I was bawling. You have to watch this. For those of you who don't know about octopuses, let me tell you about octopuses. We're gonna bring it back down here in four. We're gonna flex the foot in three. Yes, you can, guys. Go two, this is terrible. Last one, now guys, flex that foot, drop it down. Unroll that hip, give yourself a breather. Exhale, roll it back forward. Now your right foot is flexed. You inhale. You exhale, push right hip forward. That's it guys, feel that hip roll. You're like, how much longer? Guys, you're almost done, 30 minutes. One more time. Now guys, hold it forward. Reminder, you can come down onto that elbow, press that whole thigh up, drop it slow. 
Exhale, roll hip, lift thigh. Drop it slow, do not unroll that hip. Exhale, push, it's feeling Charlie horsey. Yes, guys, that's it. If it's too much, come down onto that elbow. One more time here, slow. Oh. Guys, let's take this just a little faster. Here we go, go lift, drop, press, drop. Now guys, reminder, if you wanna make it harder, you can get light on those fingers. You can cupcake them. You can bring your chest more upright. That's gonna help you feel that more in that like, kind of like lower back muffin top sort of area. Again, guys, nobody has a muffin top. I'm just using that as a reference. Okay, guys, you have four. We're holding up. Three, two, one. Now, guys, hold it up. Just pulse that right knee up. You lift. Keep rolling that hip forward. I know it's terrible. Guys, we're gonna point and flex the foot while we pulse. In four, soften those shoulders, soften your jaw. Three, let me tell you more about octopuses. Two and one. Now, guys, pulse, lift, and point through the toe. Flex the foot, lift the thigh. Point the toe, lift, hold. Flex the foot, lift, freeze. <gasps> point, lift, hold. Yes, you can. Flex, lift, freeze. Guys, reminder, come down. Point, lift, hold. Keep rolling that hip. Quality, guys, flex. Lift, freeze. Now, can we take this just a little faster? Take a point, flex. Take it, point, flex. Now, guys, we are gonna hold that flex. We're gonna bring our elbows down if you're not already there. In four, three, two, one. Take it slow, drop that left elbow down. Lower with control. Now, press it back up slow. Try not to use your hands. Lower with control, you're gonna feel that oblique. Woo! Try not to use your hands too much. Drop it slow. Oh. Exhale, push and lift. One more time, guys, we're gonna hold it down. Press and lift, woo! Drop it down, rest on your upper arm, guys. You're at the beach now. Right thigh is still lifted. Hang on to that right butt, flex through that right foot, and that thigh is lifted. Now, guys, from here, you exhale. Draw your knee in front of your hip. Press it forward. You're gonna feel a different part of your butt turn on here. Then when you're pushing back, I want you to feel that meaty part of your butt as you almost imagine pressing your heel towards your back wall. Now pull it in slow. Woo! Guys, imagine you're sliding your knee and your ankle on a table. It stays in line. You're not letting your ankle drop. You're not letting your knee drop. Press it forward. Send it back. You're like, Callie, when are these over? I know. That's how I feel too. Press it forward. Send it back, exhale, keep breathing guys. Soften those shoulders, soften your jaw. Bring it forward, keep that thigh high. Slide it back, one more time here slow guys, we're gonna speed it up. Take it forward. Okay, so let me tell you about octopuses. Octopi, let's go faster, take it crunch, take it push, take it crunch, take it push. Now guys, the challenge here is to not move anything but that thigh, right? Cause here I'm like moving my chest, my shoulders, Try to engage your core even though you're lying down so you don't get that like willy-nilly movement. That's it, yes, so strong guys. You have four, we're gonna hold it center in three, two, Ugh. last one here guys. Now hold it center here, hold it center. Your right knee is in line with your right hip, your left knee is on the ground. Now guys, I want you to slowly tap your heels together and then open your knees wide. Now take that right knee and tap it right in front of left so you feel that rotation. You'll feel like a Charlie horse in the side of your butt. Now tap heels, open knees. Tap right knee right in front of left and feel that rotation. Ooh, it's in there. Guys, also, you're working that bottom butt. Your left butt's burning too. That's it, yes, so strong. Tap those heels, ooh. Tap those knees. Okay guys, you're drawing just a big rainbow here. It's Friday. We've got rainbows here. Press it back. Also guys, <laughs> let's get back to the octopuses. So female octopuses, they mate, whatever. They get pregs, they go back into their dens and they hatch those eggs. And then literally they can't leave their dens because they're starving because they have to keep the baby safe. So they slowly starve to death. Yes, I told you. This is not, it's an emotional roller coaster. And their final act of self-sacrifice is to like blow the water 
on their little baby eggs and they hatch and then they starve to death. That's it. It's horrible. Two more here. Guys, I just can't. I, I've been a wreck all morning. One more here. Take it forward. Send it back. Now, guys, I want you slowly send it forward and then hold it back here. Hold that right knee open and just press. Just press. Guys, it's a lot in that outer butt. Your heels are connected. Your feet are flexed. You're a frog. We're back in the ocean. We're back in the water. <laughs> We're back into amphibian land. You open. You open. Press it out. Press. And press. Keep breathing here. Four. We're going to drag me in towards our shoulder. In three. Oh. In two. You're in there. Last one. That ball is still hanging out. Now, guys, slowly. I want you to take that right knee and slide it towards your shoulder. So hips remain open. And keep belly strong. Tap those heels back together. Press it up. Woo! Guys, is your right butt dying? Press it open. Now, guys, this is where we get into some weird stuff. Just hang with me. In three, in two, we're going to hold it up. We're going to move that ball. Last one here, guys. Now, hold that right thigh up. Remove that ball. Place it on top of your right thigh. Take your right elbow into that ball. And let's just pulse here. Bringing elbow towards thigh, thigh towards elbow. Ugh. You crunch. You press. You're starting to wake up that oblique. You're going to feel like just a little pinchy in the right side of your waist. And you're like, ooh, hey girl, I feel that. You press. You press. You press. Thigh towards elbow, elbow towards thigh. Guys, can you get light on that, right, that left hand? So you're like supporting your head, but you're not resting there. You're still keeping your belly strong. Guys, we're gonna lift that left thigh off the ground. In four, in three, in two, in one. Now take it real slow. Let's lift that left heel up off the ground, connect the heels. That's it, guys, drop that left shin down. You're still pressing and holding. Your butt is on fire on that right side. Guys, doesn't it feel like death? Drop it down, my butt is dead. You bring it in. You tap left shin down. One more time, guys. Whoo! Now, guys, let's hold it up here. Hold it up. Heels connect. Can you get light on that left hand? And as you pulse those thighs towards your elbow, lift and press elbow towards thighs so you really feel it in your waist. You press. Those thighs are wide, guys. I know your butt is on fire. You press, stay light on those left arms, left bot, side body. Press it up, guys. This is our big finish here. Woo! Press, 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 guys. Give me 20 seconds. Yes, you can. I said 20. <laughs> 15, guys, almost there. Don't worry, I can't count anyway. Give me 10, give me nine, and you get a break. Eight, you get a break. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop dead. Oh, how about that butt on the right side? Oh my goodness, guys. Come onto your backs. Oh, hug those knees in to the elbows. So like outside the plane of your body, get your inner thighs a little release. Maybe rock side to side. You're like, Callie, my right butt's numb. That's normal. And guys, when you're ready, cross that right ankle over your left thigh. Oh my gosh. Guys, we're gonna be really sore tomorrow. You're gonna, you're gonna feel that in your butt. Ooh, hug those thighs in as you lengthen your tailbone down towards the ground. So lengthen your spine. And then just for good measure, take it left. We've got to do that on the left side and then you're outie. You're outie like the car, guys. Take one happy baby just for good measure. Maybe straighten the leg. Maybe just stay here. Whatever feels good. Pretzel is the worst. Oh. Okay, guys, draw back in. Let's lift it up. Okay, we have to do the other side. Oh my God, my butt. Okay, take that ball, place it behind that left knee, point through that left toe. And now guys, I know your right butt is tired. Just be mindful here that you keep rolling that left hip forward, come down onto your right elbow when you need to. Guys, take your left hand, tend those right fingers, kind of frame out that right thigh. Roll that left hip forward, feel that butt squeeze. Now release it. Can you guys see that? Roll it forward, yes. Touch that butt, guys. Say, hey, butt, what's up? Do you guys feel like it hard? And drop it down. Exhale, push. Drop it down. <laughs> Exhale, push. 
drop it down. One more, we're gonna hold that roll forward. And guys, you gotta try your best to maintain it. Come out when you need a break, who cares? Roll it forward, don't be hard on yourself. Say, oh, I need a break, my butt is dead. Okay guys, flex through that left foot. And now, keeping that hip rolled forward, lift that left thigh up. It might feel like your leg weighs a million pounds, in which case you come down onto that right elbow and you roll that hip forward and lift. Drop it down. The more upright, the, hot, the harder this is. Whew. Exhale, roll and lift. Inhale, drop. Exhale, roll and lift. Inhale, drop. Guys, keep softening those shoulders. Try not to shift your weight too much. I'm doing it. <laughs> Press it forward. I tried really hard on the first side, so I feel like the side I get to ease up on myself. <laughs> drop it down. You guys do that too? It's like I really tried on that first side. Release it. Exhale, roll. We'll drop it down. We're gonna speed this up in two more. Ooh, can you get light on those fingers? One more. Let's speed it up. Lift, tap, press. Tap, now even though these are faster, we roll that hip forward. We feel that. Yes, guys. Charlie horse sensation feels normal. That's normal. Press it up. You just like learn to like tolerate it. <laughs> Press it up, drop it down, press it up. That left foot is flexed, guys. Make sure you're rolling that hip forward. Soften those shoulders, give me three more. Are you breathing? I forgot. Two more, Woo! One more. Now guys, let's hold it up here. Hold that thigh up, keep rolling that hip forward and pulse and hold. Roll that hip forward, pulse and hold. Lift it and hold. Like you're going up this tiny little ladder with your knee and your butt, but your butt is burning. Let's take that pulse just a little faster. Take it, lift, 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 lift. Feel the sick royalty free beat, guys. Lift, lift, five, we're gonna point through the toe. In four, in three, two, one. Drop that knee down, unroll that hip. Oh my gosh. Point through that left toe, roll that hip forward, and then release it. Roll that hip forward, your left toe is pointed, your knee is on the ground, this is our feel good stuff. This is where we just hump the floor. Give me two more here. One more here, guys. Now hold that hip forward, that rolling action forward. Feel that squeeze, it should feel hard in your butt. Lift it up with the toe pointed. Lower down slow. Lift it up slow. I like to hang onto my butt, guys. You can be tactile when you do bar. Like, it helps me build the mind-body connection so I don't get dead butt. Press it up, that's a real thing. I saw an article the other day. It was like, how to prevent dead butt. That's not the correct way to describe that, but we'll go with it. Dead butt. Okay guys, are we ready to speed this up? In four, in three, two, one. Take it faster, lift, drop, drop. Guys, it is small. I lift like just a centimeter. I do not lift high here. And guys, you know, it's normal to kind of feel that in like the lower back portion, like the top part of your glute that, and like right into the low back. That's it guys, keep rolling that hip forward. Lift, tap, lift, tap. We're gonna hold it up. We're gonna pulse with that toe pointed. You can do this. You can do this. Come down to that elbow when you need. You have three, we're gonna hold it up and pulse. Give me two. Last one here, now hold it up. That hip is rolling forward. Toe is pointed, lift up and hold. Oh. Lift up and freeze. Soften those shoulders. Lift up and hold. You have to like laugh at it because <laughs> it's so terrible. Can we take that pulse a little faster? Take it, lift, lift. Now guys, we're gonna alternate. We're gonna flex and point. In four, we're gonna take it slow. In three, in two, in one. Now guys, flex with that foot, lift and hold. Point through the toe, roll that hip forward, lift and freeze. Guys, I'm already shaking. Flex through that foot. I was shaking a long time ago, lift and hold. Point, lift and freeze. Roll that hip, guys. Flex, lift and hold. Oh! Point, lift and freeze. Roll that hip, guys. Feel that butt get hard. You wanna feel the hardness in your butt. Sounds dirty. <laughs> Press and hold. Point through the toe, lift and freeze. Okay guys, can we take it faster? Take it flex, take a point. Take a flex, 
take a point. Guys, we're gonna come down onto our elbow here in four. You're almost there, guys. Go flex, go point. Go flex, go point. Guys, you have five, you have four, you have three, two, one. Now hold that flex. Take your time. If you're not already there, come down onto that right elbow slow. Now, guys, your leg stays lifted. Can you lift up without using your arm too much? Send it down slow. Use your core. Press it up slow. These are so hard. Send it down slow with control. Exhale, push it up slow. That's it, guys. Give me two more. We're going to come down. Give me one more, then we'll hold it down. This time, hold it down. Bring it down. Come down onto that upper arm. Cradle your head in your right hand. Your left eye is lifted. Now guys, hang onto that butt and slide that left knee forward. Bring it all the way in towards your chest. Not so much that you feel your low back round, but that you really get in to like your piriformis, some of those deeper hip muscles. And then drop it back. Woo, you're sliding on a table here, guys. Ankle and knee are on that table. Press it back. Woo. Slide it forward. Woo! Press it back. These are terrible, guys. Slide it forward. Ooh, guys, so what are you doing this weekend? Let me think about what I'm doing. What are we doing? Pagana, what are we doing? What are we going to eat when we get takeout? Friday night, Pagana and I love to just like eat everything. It's like our fun event. The end of the week, we're like, let's get takeout and eat everything. So tonight we're probably going to get, Hagana, what are we going to get? He shrugged his shoulders. Two more. I think Thai food. Woo! One more. Now guys, can we take this a little faster? Slide it back. Push it forward. You're almost done with class, guys. And your butts are going to feel so strong. Yes, guys. You're going to be ready. You're going to be strong and ready to eat that takeout. Yes. Bring it forward and push it back. Slide that knee, that ankle on a table, guys. It does not drop, that's it. We're gonna hold it in. Four, three, yes you can, guys. Two, and one. Now guys, you hold that, right, that left knee in, pardon me, hold it in. It's in line with your hips, so it's slightly in front of that right knee. Now guys, take it real slow. Tap those heels together as you open the knees wide. And then drop that left knee right in front of your right thigh and drop it to touch the ground as the shin lifts. Tap it open so you're drawing this big rainbow. Connect the heels. Tap it down. Woo, right in front of that right knee. Open, draw that rainbow. Oh. Guys, your hammies are working this whole time because you're just squeezing that ball to hold it. And it's terrible. It's like the longest isometric contraction. Bring it forward. I like to pause and take a rest. <laughs> it's like my rainbows, the ants, we stay and we wait for the lucky charms and then we press back. Guys, try to make it a true rainbow. Lift it and drop. Are we ready to speed this up? In four, we'll take it just a little faster. Three, two, one. Take it faster, take it open and take it tap. Take it open. Take it, tap. Now guys, notice how your right butt is working. Do you feel that? Like you're pressing against the floor with that right thigh to stabilize, and you're working your right butt as well. Woo! Now guys, we're gonna hold it open, hold those heels connected. In four, in three, in two, in one. Guys, now hold those heels together. Knees are wide, can we just pulse? Press that thigh open, press it open. Press it open. I like to prop my bottom ankle up. That helps me get in my left butt better. So if you guys need to lift that right ankle up off the ground, that's okay. I want you squeezing those heels, squeezing that ball as you press that left, left thigh open. Press it. Oh, make it burn. It starts to get numb in there. You have 10 here, guys. You have nine. We're gonna crunch left knee towards our left shoulder in eight, in seven, in six, five, four, three, two, one, guys, take that left knee towards your left shoulder. Woo! Tap it down real slow. That's it, guys. You exhale, push. Close your eyes, soften your jaw, drop it down. Keep that thigh open. So, guys, you're gonna feel this in your outer butt. 
slide it down. He'll like, Kelly, this whole class is out of her butt. Don't hate me, hate the game. That's it, guys, you drop it. Your range does not have to be big here, guys. You do not need to pull it all the way towards your shoulder. It may stop just a couple inches. You take it up, can you keep everything else still? Woo! Give me three more here, guys. We're not gonna do these fast, these are terrible. Give me two more. We're gonna connect our knee and our elbow with the ball. Last one here, guys. Woo! Now on this next one, guys, we're gonna take that ball, place it in between the left thigh and the left elbow. And guys, try to get light on that right hand and just squeeze elbow towards knee and knee towards elbow. Start to feel that contraction in your left oblique as you start to get light up off your right hand and just squeeze pulse. Can you keep that left eye open? Press it towards the back wall. Take it, press. Take it, press. Take it, press. A little faster, go press, press, press. We're gonna drive that right heel up to connect our heels in four, in three. Just hold this connection. I want you actively pressing in two. Last one here, now hold that connection. Actively press it. Slide right heel to meet left. Woo, you're gonna feel your outer butt turn on. You're gonna feel your oblique turn on. Drop that right chin down. Press that right chin up, connect the heels. Guys, it is a lot. Stay light on that right hand if you can. Stay light on that right side body. So it's like you're actively pressing away, lifting towards the ball. Oh, guys, we're almost there. Pound it out when you need it. This is terrible. You have four, we're gonna hold it. Three, guys, you're almost out of class. Go two, I'm gonna give you such a good stretch. Last one. Now, guys, you hold those heels, connect those heels. Squeeze them together. Can you open those thighs a little further? And now pulse, elbow towards the eye, thigh towards the elbow. Pulse squeeze, can you get light on that right hand, right elbow? Pulse squeeze, good, lift up and out. Take a pulse squeeze. Pulse squeeze, guys, this is where we finish class. Yes, you can. Give me 15 more seconds. Don't worry, I can't count. Almost there. Almost there. Guys, you're gonna stretch in 10. Keep pulsing, nine. Go eight, can you get lighter on that right side? Go seven, six, go five, four, three, two, one, drop. How about your butt? Oh my goodness, that was the worst. Okay guys, when you're ready, roll onto your back. Let's stretch it. We did it. Tell yourself good job, you did it. Oh, you're still here, you didn't shut it off. Kudos to you. Guys, take that left foot, left ankle over your right thigh. <laughs> oh God, I just farted. And guys, get a nice good figure four stretch. I like to rock in these figure four stretches. That feels nice. It's gonna feel good for your hip. Oh, let's turn down this beat. This beat's too much, guys. You're almost done. Let's get a good stretch in. Listen to Hagana's farts. Unreal. Unreal. Okay, guys, when you're ready, just hug those knees out to the side, like towards your elbows and maybe draw little circles with your knees. I like to rock side to side, it kind of massages your butt. Oh, it feels so good. Guys, how many weird sounds do you make when you take bar class? Do people in your house think, what are you doing? Because <laughs> a lot of times there's a lot of grunting and they probably think weird things. Okay, take your right ankle over your left thigh, give yourself a nice little good stretch here. Lengthen through your tailbone. So think about lengthening tailbone down to, towards the ground as you hug that left thigh in. Oh. And now guys, take your time. Take that happy baby one more time. Maybe this time straighten one leg. Just let it feel good. Oh. Maybe take a little butterfly stretch. We're gonna roll it up. I'll take you through one more stretch for your hips, for your outer butt. Oh my God, it feels so numb and dead. Okay guys, so this is a little weird, but just bear with me. So take your left knee and bend it so it's right in front of your, like the center of your chest and cross that right ankle over. So you're sitting upright, you can feel those sits bones. It feels like you're setting up for a twist, but now I want you to just gently squeeze that right thigh in as you start to rotate your chest, like you're coming into a twist, but you're not focused on the twist, you're focused on the squeeze. 
and see if you can kind of lean back and feel that nice little stretch through the outer seat. So play around with it. You kind of have to turn a little, but still like lean back a little, you'll find it. And then when you're ready guys, drop that right knee on top of left and pitch your chest forward. I want you to slide your shins open and flex your feet. So imagine pulling your shins apart as you send your chest forward. Soften those shoulders. Ooh, lift it up. Other side. Take that right knee forward. Left foot steps over. Gently hug that thigh in as you start to rotate your heart over. Ooh, maybe lean back a little. Like, really hug it. Do you guys feel that? You're like, no, nothing. I can't feel anything. My butt's numb. Same. Okay, now drop that. Um, left knee right on top of right. You guys, you can always go crisscross applesauce if that doesn't work. Pull your shins open and then send your chest forward. You may not hinge forward very much. Oh, beautiful guys. When you're ready, slowly lift it up. We are all done. Now you get to leave your comment for three classes. So guys, to be entered into the drawing, I want you to say, I love butt stuff in the comments. I love butt stuff. It can be an emoji heart or the word, I love butt stuff, and I'll announce in the stories who wins the three classes. Guys, go enjoy your days. Enjoy those hard, strong butts. I'll see you next time. Woo! See ya. Peace. Hold on, don't shut it off again. I have to pick a winner. I have to give them a chance. Guys, make your comments. I love butt stuff. Yay, I see, I love butt stuff. Okay, guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Get your comments in. I'm gonna give you a few more minutes. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know, wasn't that terrible? Thanks, guys. Yay. <laughs> it's fun, I actually get to see who's here now. Oh, yes, I agree, holy tuck butt. Yes, Shayna, get that butt stuff, yes, Joey. All right, guys, see you next time.